Hello, it's a beautiful day here at Compass Point. We are at West Lake Preserve. This is the Pamlico Sound that we have under construction. It is looking really nice. We got the spray foam in and preparing for drywall. So it's May 1st. I want to give you guys a little bit of an update as to how the house is looking. So drywall is here, so we should be getting it put up here very shortly. And that's a pretty fast process. Um, as you can see, when we walk in, this one's gonna be very similar to the Pamlico Sound Alt. Two-story foyer. Guest rooms are over here. So this one, you do have the access to the media room, whereas the other one had a closet here. They have a closet here, whereas this the other one had like an alcove. I uh, like this design, so you got a coat closet linen closet for the bathroom vanity toilet shower this is the guest bedroom here and the drywall is covering up the closet but it is right there and then they have their media room and you can see this one's vaulted because they don't have the alt um, so they were able to do the vault they have a screen porch here off the back. Oops. It goes this way. Okay. Opens in. <laughs> so we did a double side fireplace here on this one. Vaulted ceiling up here as well. And then we did a privacy wall on the side. And this one's on a water want. Here. It's a view of this house from the rear. That chimney will have a, a chimney cap on it, a decorative chimney cap. So this will be screened. And then you have two ways to get into the four season with that fireplace right in the middle. It's a nice look. And then they did a little bit different. So the last one we saw had a slider here, whereas they are doing interior French doors, or you could do no doors at all. Um, and then they have French doors going to and from the dining area also. And then they also did a double stacked tray ceiling in the great room, which is a nice feature. And then of course, you'll have cabinetry here, cabinetry all down through there, and the island will go right here. Their dining area is slightly different than the other one, whereas we have a vault with some beams going in, which will be really nice. And like I said, we have the access to the four season room there. It's a nice big great room, built ins on both sides of the fireplace. And there's the foyer. We'll go through the primary. So they did a tray ceiling in their primary. A little furniture niche there. The other house, we actually made the closet bigger and didn't do the furniture niche. And then we have closet, closet, linen closet, another closet for linens and whatnot. Then you have powder room, or water closet, shower, Big vanity, and it opens up into the laundry. And then you do have some under the stair storage here. There'll be a drop zone right here. This is the powder room. Opens up into the garage. You see the stairs are reversed in this one. Well, this is not the alt. This one has the room over the garage. And then we do have the Butler's pantry slash office here, however you want to use utilize that. And then of course you do have a pantry right here outside the kitchen. And again, this is all the kitchen. There's your dining area. So you can get a different perspective. Four season room, screen porch, media room, and then the great room. And then there is the foyer. And then upstairs in this one. I like how open the stairs are. There'll be railing there, obviously. 
you're going to have a lounge, a bedroom, a bathroom, and then storage. So here's the lounge. Bedroom. Then you got the bathroom, so you got a shower, toilet, vanity, and then your storage is over here. another view of the common areas and drywall going soon i'll do an updated video once we get into drywall